pussy boy, pussy boy, pussy boy. Boy, oh boy, girl. You are such a lion, little weasel, scumbag pussy. You know, you know when somebody a pussy, I mean a good pussy, scared pussy, is when every time they think they safe, think they can't be God, can't be touched, they start running their mouth like, what's up, pull up, and so forth and so forth. See, that tells me one thing one thing on that boy oh boy you can't fight a lick and I already knew you couldn't fight all right dude look at your little your little whatever you want to call uh tapes and you uh, you know you fighting on YouTube when you fought that that young 14 year old 13 or 14 year old he literally made you quit. You got knocked down and was made to quit. Quit. Not, 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 not just quit, but he had you scared. You were scared. And then you literally told that dude, don't go hard on me. Okay, don't go hard on me. You just go slow or medium. I'm like, wait a minute. How a quote unquote gangster tell somebody don't go hard on them because they're they can't handle it. I, 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 that blows my mind. I never ever seen a tough guy, a gangster. Tell another man, don't go hard on me because I'm basically scared. And doctor, uh oh, let's get on your little <laughs> training video you use at the gym. <laughs> Yo, sorry, but but do karate kicks. <laughs> karate kicks on a punching bag. And then, and then. Your butt tried to do the little speed bag and couldn't barely hit it. The who does that? Who tells themselves, oh God. So I'm just gonna start kicking because I can't I can't hit it. I'm gonna kick it. And then on top of everything, you are you are working out in some jeans. Jeans. Jeans and a do rag that, bro. You can wear that do rag for the next 10, 15 years, bro. Ain't nothing coming out of it. Ain't nothing gonna come out of that, bro. Just let it go. Let it go, bro. You, you're never gonna be black. Quite frankly, you hope to God you never go black. Because we don't, we, we, you are so pussyfied that. You bring our 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 culture down. That's why everybody in your family don't want your butt around because you are nothing but a pussy. Your family don't like you because you you smell like a, a mule. Your breath smell like smell like you took you ate a doo doo sandwich. And then to top it off, to top it off, your nasty butt. Nasty. Don't take showers whatsoever. You know, I know you don't take showers, and you know you don't take showers because every day, every time you get a chance, you act like you gotta tell everybody you go jump in the shower. So, that's one thing that just proves that you just a freaking disgusting, disgusting mule. And, you know, Bro, you think you doing something by making fun of a man and his 
daughter passed away because of a freak accident. You are such a worthless, spineless, maggot of a human being. Because only someone like that would think it was cute to keep talking about, oh, Kobe's dead, Kobe ain't coming back. See, what I love about that is, bro, you can, you can, you can try to make fun of it, try to think it's cute, but you know what, this is what I know. You'll never be a man. You'll never, you'll never have respect. You never get respect. Hey. You never will get. You never have respect. You, you, bro. You, 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 don't, you don't deserve. Uh, I, I, I could be totally honest with you, bro. You can be getting beat up, smash, and bro, I'll probably go buy a bag of popcorn and enjoy the show. Cause I know, first thing you could try to do is run, and then when you can't run, you gonna start begging and saying, "Hey man, I'm sorry, blah 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 blah," but. It's not going to work because you're a scumbag loser. And, bro, when I say your, day, your days are numbered, bro, I mean it everything. I got, I got a family. And I'm going to tell you straight up, bro, your days are numbered. I guarantee you this, you ain't gonna be saying it's Kobe crap, uh, you ain't gonna be saying, thinking it's funny, thinking, thinking, ha ha ha, ha ha bro, cause you ain't got no teeth in your mouth to go, ha ha ha, ha ha ha, ha. bro, you, 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 you better start whistling now, cause you ain't gonna never better whistle again, I'm just telling you straight up, bro, cause, you got it coming, bro. You are a disgusting pussy. You have no sense of pride. You have no sense of, of how to be a man. You, you, you are just a peasant. A cockroach. A little rat. That can't fight. Have no respect from nobody. Nobody respect you. Nobody, bro. You, 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 you talk all this trash. I'm on you. Go put hands on people. You know this, and people know that. We know one thing about you: that you scared of your own shadow. You scared of frost. She have caught you off so many times, bro. It ain't even funny. And then you, when you was talking the dream. You know, you know what I'm talking about. Talking to Dream, and Dream was like, I'm going to put it wrong. Your pussy butt was scared to death. And you said, I'll hang up, I'll hang up, I'll hang up. So, that's a, that's a big time G, huh? You're a G, right? Yeah. You're a G, all right. <laughs> Scared of a female talking all that trash. Oh, you don't want to see me, man. You ain't trying to see nobody. No pussy butt. And and, and, and uh, I'm glad you brought that chick in. To, to, to I don't think she's your girl. She's she's come on, man. She a prostitute. Come on, stop it. Well, but 
since she's talking to you, since you, ugh, she kissed you and everyone else, she's fair game now. So, since she's fair game now, she this is dumb, worthless as you are. And I don't want to say, but if she's a Puerto Rican or Mexican bro, you are a garbage human being. Go, go, go call people spicks and and spick this, spick that, and and this and that. But boy, you want to you want to be us so bad. Go, go, and, and you know what? She has to be dumb as a bag of bricks, just like you, to mess with you. To mess with you. Who in a right mind will even attempt to let your butt touch him? Your little baby dick. Your 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 your, your body smell like a goddamn outhouse. Bro, I remember like it was yesterday. When you didn't even realize who I was, and I was standing right behind you, and you smelled so bad, you smelled so bad. I, I, I'm not gonna lie, bro. I almost passed out because I knew I couldn't hold my breath too much longer, and for somebody to smell that bad in public. In public. <laughs> I mean, oh my God. A grown man smell like you know, you know when clothes when you wash clothes and you open the uh, washer up and you don't immediately put them in the dryer. Say you might put them in the dryer the next day or, or the following day and, and your clothes smell like god awful. That's what you were smelling like, bro. You you smell like that. You are a walking mildew pussy. And bro, you, I, I, I mean, I, I read somewhere, if you, if you, if you keep telling the same lie, you eventually start believing that lie yourself. So, I'm like this listening to you for nine million times say, <laughs> I got a, first you had a bat cave. Now you're saying you have a three-story building with your mansion and five luxury whips. Nobody ever says it like that, ever. And you think, because you keep saying I got three stories behind it, that people just go out of that and start believing it. Are you that dumb that you literally trying to pass this off? You sleep outside and you literally still trying to say, you got this building, you got this, you got that. Stop it, bro. Just stop lying, man. You know you don't got this crap. You sleep outside. You smell like you smell like garbage. You walk everywhere. You're in a homeless shelter. And you know what's funny too, bro, is so this girl is so great and so so amazing, so this, so that. But we figure this out. So, she is this great human being. She's this great person. She's bad. This first of all, God dang it, man! Have any one of y'all ever asked yourself to do y'all hair? Jesus Christ! Second, so she loves you so much. Wish that's all in your head because she don't love you. Just just talk to her. But anyway, she she loves you so much, so much now. But she don't want you standing like where she's at. You. 
Yeah. But, 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 like you say, she loves you. Right? Right? <laughs> so, this great woman of yours loves you so much, but she got your sorry butt sleeping outside. Sleeping outside. Walking the streets, sleeping outside. And secondly, Jesus Christ, bro, she was prostituting me, kissing her, kissing her. I mean, literally, it was disgusting, bro. Every little second, every little inch she, you, she take, yo, pussy, stalker, but give me a kiss. Can you give me a kiss? What are you doing? Can you give me a kiss? You are kissing about 50 dicks, man, every time you kiss her. You might as well say you're kissing Austin, all of Austin, Austin, Texas, because you nasty, ratchet, but that's wrong with a prostitute. Because now, one time did she say, boyfriend, I love you, anything like that, anything like that. You are a freaking stalker, pussy. Bum. That's all you are. You would do anything, anything, to make people believe you got stuff. You, 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 you just. Wow, man, you. This could be real easy taking care of you. Ain't nobody care. Ain't nobody gonna worry about where Tyre, Ho Tyre at. I guarantee people gonna say, "Hope he, hope he with his pussy daddy." Six feet deep. Because neither one of y'all pussy five pussies deserve any respect. Both of y'all are molesters. Both of y'all probably, probably uh, well no, you got a you got a baby dick. You know, you a baby dick loser. And your daddy obviously was even a bigger loser. Disgusting faggot. I'm, I'm sorry, I really don't, I don't like using that word, but it only pertains to this pussy. And <laughs> what makes it so funny is you think you're doing something when you say, Cubby's dead, Cubby's dead, think it's funny and everything. But, see, this is the beauty of it. Kobe Bryant's pinky has more man in it than your whole body. And you know what? His legacy is gonna stay on, gonna stay forever. And you know what you gonna leave when you finally get out, get out this earth? Nothing. You, a coward, can die a thousand deaths a leader. A, a man will live on for eternity. He will never be forgotten. Never. So is his daughter and all the other passengers in that helicopter. Because they all, they were all good people. They were all beautiful people. But unlike you, you, you will always be and never be no more than a bum, loser, coward. Ain't nobody gonna remember you for nothing other than you being a bum, a wannabe, racist, pussy. That's what you always want to be. Ain't nobody gonna um, gonna respect anything you do, anything you say. And quite frankly, we all hope you die. That's no exaggeration. I would never be anything other than a a loser, bum. Cause that's all you are. That's all your daddy was. Before he died was a pussy. That's all you ever gonna be. 
because you are you 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 don't know how to be a man. You don't know how to be a leader. Cause you know what? You always trying to be somebody else. Cause you know you have no. Oh, oh, oh.